Okay, so uh, in this part of the installation process we will uh, install our first program. It's called Pi Assistant and we'll use it to make life easy for ourselves. So on your screen you are looking at uh, this window and there might be a black border around it. Now you don't have to worry about it, we'll fix that uh, in a moment. Um, now we'll go to our Windows uh, ex to our Windows computer for the moment and uh, we will download Pi Assistant. You can download it from the website and just click uh, download, you redirect it to OneDrive, that's the host storing everything and you download the zip file. Okay. Now we'll copy that to our mobile drive, let's say USB drive, and we'll then use it uh, in our Raspberry Pi. We'll extract it as well, like that. And there are two files in here. Now simply take it out of your uh, Windows machine, and now we'll go back to our Raspberry Pi. I've just connected the USB to the Raspberry Pi and uh, it should pop up any moment. Yeah. We click open in file manager and uh, we are just going to copy the Pi Assistant folder, so not the zip file but the folder, to our desktop. That's just clicking, dragging and releasing. Now unfortunately the Linux file system won't uh, allow for this file to run straight of the box. If I double click it, it's going to show a lot of gibberish for you. It's just a program code that every where the program is based on. What you'll have to do is you'll have to open the readme file and you copy this line of code. So just press Control copy on your keyboard and you should be fine. Next up you will right click the file pyassistant.py and you select open with. Then you go to the option that says custom command line and you paste it in there. It's easy as that. You check the box that says execute in terminal emulator. You set this as the default action and we'll give this a name. We're just going to say run run python and we click OK. Now the program launches immediately but we'll have to change a few things in our file permission system first. So you can close this down, right click the pyassistant.py file and go to properties, click permissions and this is how it should look like. It should say anyone, then only owner and then execute nobody. That's what makes life easy for us. So in my case it's already set like this but I urge you to take a look at this as well. Now, these permissions allow for the file to be run by a certain user, but we don't want our files to be seen by other users that we'll make later on in our system, so we'll have to set the permissions for our folder as well. So we right click the folder Pi Assistant and we go to Properties. Next up you go to Permissions and we are going to set everything to only owner. And then we click OK. And that's it. That's really everything there is to running this program. You can now double click it and you will present it with a GUI, that's the graphical user interface. And each of these buttons is connected to a certain action. And that action is going to be displayed in the terminal. So if I do something in here, then it's going to tell you what it's doing and it's going to do a certain action. What this is, is going to be explained in the next video. Take care.